Homer G. Phillips attended the historic HBCU Howard University and came back to St. Louis to fight for rights through a thriving law practice. He worked to end the segregation ordinance and defended blacks prosecuted after the 1917 race riots in East St. Louis, Illinois. But a huge accomplishment was Phillips' efforts to create a black-operated hospital and medical training facility. The push started in 1923 and led to the opening of the Homer G. Phillips Hospital, named to honor his memory. From the 1930s until the 1980s, the hospital took care of the black people living in St. Louis and was a teaching hospital for black physicians and nurses. Before this hospital opened in 1937, black people had to use segregated medical facilities. Well, within just a couple of years, there were 52 black physicians working at Homer G. Phillips Hospital and its training school, except in more than half of the black graduates of American medical schools. Today, the Missouri History Museum is taking a look back at this access to education and health care the hospital provided. The medical professionals themselves who worked at Homer G. Phillips felt like that was important. Um, many of them were teachers. They turned around and taught at medical schools, really tried to amplify the voices of up and coming black doctors. Homer G. Phillips Hospital for a long time was one of the only places, was the premier place that black medical professionals, doctors and nurses and scientists could go to get medical training. Well, happening today and tomorrow, the Missouri History Museum is hosting History Exploration Days. The doctor is in health and medicine. You can go today from 10 to 2 or the same time tomorrow. These events are free and you do not have to RSVP. You can just show up. They will also have medical tools and artifacts used by those pioneers in black medicine to show as they dive into how black St. Louisans fought for adequate medical care and education for black professionals during the 20th century. And that was your Black History Moment, John.